welcome uh, once again students in the physics online lectures so in the last lecture we have discussed uh, partition function and uh, by which we have also derived some of the thermodynamical quantities in terms of the partition functions like uh, helmholtz free energy gibbs free energy and respectively we have seen entropy and uh, what are chemical potential in this consequence we are also discussing one or certain applications of the canonical ensemble the first one we are taking the example of a two level system by meaning to say two level system means the system has only two state accessible and it is consisting of an identical non interacting particle we are saying that we have two now for this i have just shown this diagram here you will be saying that it is a two non degenerate level system and which have this ground state zero energy which is lower level and there is another level it is known to be the first excited state with energy this epsilon suppose this energy epsilon so we have a two level system we are discussing for the first case application of the canonical ensemble and we are also assuming that both the system are non degenerate at the certain it at the same time now you can just also assume that the higher energy state are not available because of the fact to the system because that exceeds the total energy available to the system so there are no higher energy states are available no now first we will have to calculate the partition function so what is the partition function you are aware of this partition function q and vt it is the partition function for the canonical ensemble and the formula for the partition function you can just have this summation r gr e to the power minus beta er this is the formula for the calculating the partition function likewise in this sense now first we will calculate for a single particle the partition function that's why i am writing here q1 it is for the single particle it is for the single particle like i have also mentioned it it is the single particle for the single particle we will calculate it and then after calculating the partition function for the single particle we can generalize our result for the n number of the particles so in this case this gr as you are aware of the fact that it is non degenerate non degenerate meaning to say that the both the states like the lower level which is corresponding to the ground state and another one excited state which i have the energy both are equally degenerate meaning to say that they having the degeneracy factor 1 associated with each of the ground level as well as the other excited state so by calculating this partition function for the single particle you can just generalize this formula generalizing means you can just write here g1 e to the power minus beta e1 plus you can write here g2 because we have two state one and two so we can just write e to the power minus beta e2 here so in this case this epsilon 1 e1 energy it is here zero that's why i have if you just look at this i have this degeneracy g1 is 1 and this is e to power minus beta times of this e1 it is zero here plus this again degeneracy for the excited state it is 1 and it is multiplied by e to power minus beta times of this epsilon energy this is here this is the energy corresponding to the excited state the other level which is known to be the first excited state now in this case you can just solve it 1 e to the power minus beta you know that e to the power 0 it is 1 here so in this case we can have just this value it is coming out to be 1 plus this is e to the power minus beta times of this energy e here or this energy epsilon so we have calculated for the single particle and partition function is coming out to be 1 plus e to exponential to the power minus beta epsilon here so this is for the single particle now we are assuming in this case that we have a number of the identical non interacting particle so we have to generalize our result for n of the number of the particles for this we are having this for q and vt we have generalized our result which was coming for the single particle for n number of the particles here means what we are doing q and vt it is equals to q1 v to the power raised to the power n so by doing that we are having total partition function for the n of the particles so so we can have the result that it is here for the single particle it is 1 plus e to power minus beta epsilon times of this n and now this is the total partition function for n particles which we are assuming that 
we have a two level system and in for which this is the n number of the particles and partition function for n number of particles is here this one so now if you have calculated the partition function you are aware of the fact that there is a basic relationship between the partition function and the helmholtz free energy what is that if you just see at this one a or f this is helmholtz free energy you can have this formula a is equals to minus 1 time 1 upon beta times of ln q and v t what is q and v t again it is the partition function for the canonical number and i have earlier established in the previous lecture i have earlier established a relation which connects the helmholtz free energy with this partition function v t here so this is the basic relation which connects the helmholtz free energy with respect to the partition function so in this you if you just calculate the helmholtz free energy you are able to derive other results as well so first we are discussing here the helmholtz free energy then just substitute the value of this for n number of particles and you will get the helmholtz free energy a value is coming out to be minus n k t times of this ln natural log of this 1 plus e to power minus beta i so this is the helmholtz free energy for a two level system which have this value of a now in this consequence we have also find out the internal energy what is that internal energy is this is 1 upon this partition function of del of this partition function upon del beta if you know this value if you just solve it you will get this result it is n of this epsilon upon 1 plus e to the power beta times of epsilon then this is the required result which is for the internal energy of the two level system and this you can calculate by applying this formula now in this consequence i have already told you if you just know this partition function then you can just also have this result for the entropy and it is nothing but s equals to k times of this ln q and v t partition function plus e to the power this is e uh, multiplied with this beta beta parameter so if you just put the values you have all these values and if substitute the values you will get the part uh, you will get the entropy for the two level system and it is coming out to be n k times of this ln 1 plus e to power in this case beta watch 1 upon k t that's why i have just written exponential to the power minus epsilon upon this k t plus if you just look at this one this is nothing but we have earlier calculated the value of this e here and it is already common and we have taken out of this equation uh, this uh, box so it is here epsilon upon kt times of this 1 plus e to power epsilon upon kt so this is all about the uh, particle uh, which is having a two level system so in this lecture we have discussed the a two level system with energy zero and epsilon so this was a, on the basis of this canonical symbol we are uh, dealing here some of the practical examples of this uh, utilizing the partition function of the canonical symbol so in the other lectures we will also discuss some of the other systems like uh, classical ideal gas or uh, we have a uh, two type of oscillator one is classical oscillator and another is the quantum oscillator so in the upcoming lectures we will upload uh, the some of the lectures with uh, just uh, full effort so it will be easy to understand all of you thanks thank you for watching